Hello, St. Mary Magdalene. Thanks for tuning into this week's video with me, Father Chris. Happy Easter. May the continuous ongoing joy of the risen Lord continue to fill our hearts and remind us that suffering always leads to the glory yet to be revealed. Also, how beautiful that today, April the 21st, we celebrate St. Anselm. Beautiful saint, great saint, who is uh, kind of famously known for the maxim, I believe in order to understand, and I understand that I might better believe. What a beautiful gift. And what does that show for us? It shows that our faith and our trusting in the Lord helps us to understand how and where the Lord is at work, or even help understand some of the mystery and just some of the things that go along with being a disciple, some of those things that are difficult for us to understand. But then that, that understanding leads to an even deeper faith, right? So it's a beautiful relationship between faith and reason. We believe and we trust the Lord, but then we also seek to understand, well, what is it that I'm believing? St. Anselm is a great theologian and a uh, great uh, uh, gift to the church, right, in that great, uh, beautiful tradition, a very robust tradition of academics and theological reflections and spiritual writings. So may St. Anselm pray for us and help us to believe so that we might understand and then understand in order to better believe. Also, uh, for the next two weeks, I will be away on a pilgrimage to Portugal and Spain. Uh, I get to go visit the Fatima apparitions. I'm very excited. I've never been to Fatima before. So please keep me in your prayers on this pilgrimage that I re may receive many and whatever graces the Lord desires to pour out upon me. And know that I will be praying for you. I'll be carrying your intentions with me throughout this pilgrimage and especially before the, the Shrine of Our Lady uh, there in Fatima. Uh, that the Lord may bless all of us and continue to bestow many graces upon each of us as well. So please, again, pray for me during this pilgrimage. I will be back in early May. Uh, and how beautiful, too, also in, at that time, we'll have uh, many of our from within our community beginning to receive sacraments. So uh, confirmation of First Communion, truly a great gift and always a beautiful renewal for the church. So to all of you receiving sacraments uh, in the next few weeks, congratulations. We are so proud of you and thank you for your yes and for your renewal in the church. And I look forward to celebrating it with you when I get back. And uh, the rest of us, please continue to pray for them that again, those graces of the Holy Spirit and of communion may abide in their hearts and lead them closer to Christ. Let's pray. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mighty Father, through the intercession of St. Anselm, we pray for the grace that our faith may be renewed and bolstered and deepened so that we might understand these beautiful and sacred mysteries into which you call us, and that our understanding of these sacred mysteries may further deepen our faith and continue to develop our understanding that our faith may continue to increase as well. This beautiful cycle of faith and understanding and understanding leading to deeper faith so that we may more and more love you, serve you, and seek you in all things. We ask all of this through Christ our Lord. Amen. St. Anselm, pray for us. St. Mary Magdalene, pray for us. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a great week, everyone. Bye-bye.